77 dollars per day may not be a lot of money for some people living in first world countries but it sure can go a long way for many people these companies will pay you 77 dollars minimum but don't get too excited yet because it's not easy money you're gonna have to work hard for it and in this video i'm gonna try and help you the best way i can time is money and i don't want to waste you so let's get started Number one, Optimate. This company hires both part-time and full-time copywriters. Copywriting is a broad career. Your specific role depends on the client you are working with and their industry, but the fundamentals include writing, attention-grabbing, informative content known as a copy. Research is a big part of copywriting. Sometimes you may even have to go through reports. A client or company may ask you to write a copy of their coaching or advertising their coaching services, or you may be tasked to write a radio commercial, catalog description, or a copy of printable ads. Optimate hire you as a freelancer, but you will be working with different companies, ranging from marketing agencies to consulting firms, business coaches, or startups. That's why they are looking for candidates who possess a wide range of skill sets because you won't be doing just one thing. The skills they are interested in include article writing, email marketing, website and brand copy. One of the benefits of working for Optimate is location. It does not matter where you're situated in the world. You can work while on vacation or at a coffee shop. Secondly, guaranteed safety. Working as a freelancer can be stressful, especially billing clients. Some clients could be scams and will have you do work for free. They may argue that you're work is not of quality but go on to use the same work without your knowledge optimate mitigate those risks of being exploited they collect payments or at least deposits from each client before you start working to ensure that you get paid no matter what thirdly client vetting optimate takes an extra step to ensure that all clients they have you do work for are genuine people not some chances one of the requirements is the standard good wi-fi connection you must be available to work at least 20 hours per week weekends and nights can be included to make up your hours be someone who's interested in working for us and european companies which i think shouldn't even be a chat because if you want money or if you need money it shouldn't matter where the company is situated. Of course, you do have to consider time zones and everything, but also you have a flexible schedule. So it's not like you can or you have to work at night if you don't want to work at night. Payment, money, money, money. The one thing we all love. They pay $15 per hour. If you're working full time, you get paid $105 per day. In-house full-time employees are paid for eight hours of being in the office whether they're working or they are doing the bare minimum they still get paid but as a freelancer you are only paid per hour of work i want to make this point clear because some people want quick cash so bad that they think they can just and all this money by doing nothing unfortunately that's not the case with online jobs there are things that you should look out for one of the questions they are going to ask you is what primary skills related to copywriting or editing do you possess? They do not consider an answer that is less than one to two paragraphs. To answer, follow the skeleton. Firstly, check skills related to copywriting. Then handpick the ones you possess. Highlight those skills using previous work or anything that can demonstrate you have those skills. Lastly, try to add a little bit of copywriting jargon here and there if possible. This means you have to read about copywriting before applying if you don't know anything about this job. Here's an example of how you could answer this question. Let's assume you have not worked as a copywriter before, but you have transferable skills such as research skills. You could say, during my university career, I worked on different research projects that helped me hone my research skills, which I believe will come in handy for this job as I'll be able to take clients briefs and use research to create attention grabbing, informative copies. What I did here, I followed the skeleton I just gave you. I checked what skills copywriters need. Research skill is one of them. And if you've been to university, whether you graduated or not, you do have some research skills. Remember earlier in this video, I told you that the content you write or create is known as copies. That's why I wrote, I'll be using research to create attention grabbing informative copies. So by using the word copies, I'm trying to show the HR person that I already know the copywriting jargon, which might signal familiarity or interest in the job. Notice how I also mentioned attention grabbing informative. 
that's the role of a copywriter so you want to be strategic with how you answer i could have just written research skills and not mention where i learned that but i'll have to write 10 or 15 other skills which i don't have to make a paragraph but when you show how you have the skills you claim to possess you can just write two to three skills attach little stories to them the recruiter will still be satisfied as opposed to someone who just went to google and copied all the list of skills and pasted them on this form another tricky question you'll come across and will determine if you get a job or not is this one record an audio of at least 30 seconds explaining why you'd like to have a remote job and paste the link let's assume you have a child you could say something like as a first time mom or dad i'd like to see my son when he leaves for school and when he comes back but with my current job unfortunately i leave too early and come back too late this online job would be perfect for me because i can earn a living while still being present in my son's life go on to talk about the freedom this job will provide etc what's important is being sincere in your answer take time to answer some of these questions a lot of people are gonna get rejected because they rush through things and never put any effort you may desperately want this job, but what's the point of applying if you're not going to give it your all? Number two, Smith AI. Smith AI is a 24-7 virtual receptionist company that serves small and medium-sized businesses in these industries. They employ virtual receptionists around the world to perform tasks such as curating outreach campaigns, answering incoming calls, or web trades for different clients and businesses. For this job, you must be available at least five hours per day if you're working part-time and it must be five days a week 40 hours per week if you choose full time you can always switch around their shifts are broken into two to five hours blocks a laptop or desktop is necessary for this job other crucial skills include typing skills of at least 40 words per minute with 100 percent accuracy you must have the ability to communicate professionally both verbally and written be someone who can take instructions easily and can understand different accents. Smith AI pays $11 per hour, $55 per day if you're working part-time and $77 per day if you're working full-time. The $11 hourly rate is for people who are residing outside the US. If you're in the US, you get paid $15. The application process. The first step is submitting your application. Then you'll get invited to a virtual interview and an online assessment that you have to complete. There is a practice test you can take before completing the actual assessment. And I urge you guys to do it because the real one is similar to the practice test. I can't show you the answers of the assessment because the company might want me to take down the video, but I will tell you how it's like so you can better prepare. The first test will be about your typing speed. You have one minute to write as much as you can. Then they give you a short comprehension to read and answer some multiple choice questions around that. Each case may be different, but the comprehension will resemble what you may face as a virtual receptionist working for Smith AI. It might be a conversation between two people, a client and a VR. The third one tests your ability to make decisions. You may be given two identical objects or closely identical and they ask you if they are similar or not. Number three, teleperformance. This is a customer service company that employ people from different countries. You have to pick your country and you'll be shown roles available in your country. For example, if you're in South Africa, these are some of the jobs currently available. They have jobs in Nigeria and other countries. If your country is not on the list, apply to the other two companies previously mentioned. Teleperformance entry-level customer service representative get paid an hourly rate of $13 $104 per day and high-end representative get paid an hourly rate of $86, $688 per day. Please be aware of scammers imitating teleperformance or any of these companies. Always check the email domain. None of these companies will ask you to use WhatsApp or Telegram and nor will you be asked to send any money up front. All these companies have one thing in common and that is web availability because you will be working under them. So if you're interested or you have the skills, go ahead and apply. Please take time to answer some questions, especially for Optimate and make sure to take the practice test for Smith AI. Good luck and if you have any questions, comment down below. I'm gonna try to reply as soon as I can. If you are new here, do check the community tab for more opportunities and my other videos.